Hey everyone, Sam Signorelli, H1 Fencing, and welcome back to Icon Has Armory. This time we're wiring a foil blade. Now, the blade cleaning uh, techniques are the same as in that piece of foil. This blade's already gone through the acetone bath. It has also already been cleaned with the Dremel, so I'm ready to wire it. Um, a note about tips, okay? Very important to note. The tips for foil are very different. The French design is held in with little holes in the collar where the screws engage. The holes in the barrel are, are smooth, the, the collar is tapped, that's where the screws stick in. A German one, there are no holes, it looks like an empty tire rim. The barrel walls are tapped, the screws simply project into that space. The Leon Paul doesn't even have a collar, it simply projects in space where the collar was and it hits the little flange at the bottom to hold it in place. These parts cannot be crossed. You cannot put a German tip into a French barrel with a French screw and have it work properly. It will not. If you have mixed parts, you will not have a reliable circuit. Stay with the same parts. If they're Sport 7 French, Prieur French, Leon Paul, any of the German styles, keep them the same. You'll have a better life. My tips, my default tips are always FWF, the uh, next generation, the double thick barrel ones, because they resist denting and you don't get smashed down screws. First step is to, of course, take the tip out. Now because the Germans have a tap barrel. I'm going to have to back the screws out a little bit and they stay in the barrel until the tip comes loose. There it is. Nope, my finger was over, over the top of it. It's going to go shooting out toward the camera. Spring is out. And this particular one is a brand new one, so it doesn't have a wire in it. If it did, have to push the wire cup out. German wire uh, also cannot be put into a French barrel because the diameter is just slightly different. The interior diameter of a French is slightly narrower than the interior diameter of a German barrel. So the German wires are a little larger. They will not fit in the French. A French and the German will rattle around a whole lot and probably not function right. You can put a French in a Leon Paul in a pinch. I've done it, don't recommend it. So just at the Epi one, we unwrap it. Make sure that's straight, okay. Put it through the base like before. Goes on. About an inch of wire hanging out. And this time we use a five millimeter box wrench. Again, fits the flats. Same technique as an epi, wrap it around, make sure it's moving until I tighten it up. And same thing, one finger and lose the wrench. Hang on a second. Went flying. It happens I can't hold on to it. <clears throat> Try it again. So on the flats, pull the finger, tight as it goes. Now, on a German barrel, the thinner ones, the ger old Germans and the French, if you crank it too tight, you will split the barrel. If the barrel's got a crack in it, you got to toss it right away. Um, this is the end of the way. Wire moves smoothly. Pull all the way down. Now, setting it down, the center of this K of this wire is a little metal cap. That metal cap is part of the bronze cap or the brass cap in the top of the wire that makes contact with the spring. The very, very center is worthless. It just sits there. It's part of the design. You can put a screwdriver on that and push down and pull the wire gently, just like an epi, so it doesn't bunch up, all the way down. I need to set the point. Spring goes in. Tip goes in. And I'm going to make sure it engages the proper area. So it's almost too much coming too high here. So cranking this ruin. There it is. Moves a small little bit. And as with Epe, the next step is to test the wire. Let me get this in there. There it is. Found the slot. So next we're going to test the wire. Okay, so time to test this wire. A little different procedure than the Epe. Still the same thing as far as stripping the wire is concerned. So strip the wire. Turn the wire real quick. Finish stripping. This time, I have my dam box. I have my octopus test cord, which has a two pin end on it. That's the B line. That's when it's connected to the wire to the socket. That's the C line. That's the ground. It's on BC, which is circuit I want to have closed. I put the wire against the B side. <coughs> Pardon me. Uh, so put the wire in the B side of the pin, it's in contact, put the C line on the blade that simulates closing the circuit, it's assembled. I have circuit, the weight, 
500 grams minus 510. Circuit's open, uh, circuit's closed. Circuit's now open. Circuit's now closed again. So that function property passes the weight check. That's done. Now I can go on to the wiring gluing part, which is the same as the EPE side. Some of the same concerns, same techniques. Uh, this blade, however, is going to be going on a weapon right away. It's mine. I need it for lessons. So the next video will be assembly of weapons, which is also a place you can screw it up if you're not careful. As Yogi Berra said, ain't over till it's over. So same thing here. Lay it in the groove. Pull gently. Tape it down. Like I said, exactly the same as in the Epe Verde video. Glue the extremities down. Again, same exact reason. Only difference is I use a different screwdriver to hold down. Again, Q-tip and... Uh, Accelerant. Use my small screwdriver to push the wire down to the groove since the big one won't make it. And that's set. Uh, push that one down. And that's set. Oops. And that's set. <laughs> Drop the screwdriver. And let's go ahead and bend it and finish the gluing process. Okay, so it's time to bend it and wire it. I've already changed the uh, wiring chain to the uh, pistol grip number five length, where it usually sits, again, the tip is moving. This one got a little careful about because sometimes the wire pops out of the groove before I bend it, doesn't do it in so much an epee. Bend a little bit, make sure the wire is in the groove, then finish the bend, it's in there. Make sure the wire is actually in the groove. Again, same technique as before. Although with foil, it's a little harder sometimes to get the wire in the groove since it's not a V-shaped channel. So you gotta watch the sheen of the wire and make sure it's going in the groove and not over the top to the sides or whatnot. It's right in the middle. It gets harder as the uh, nozzle gets chewed up. You got to cut it away. There we go. The same spray glue here. Move this aside. And the same technique with the Kleenex. Sometimes it actually goes over the edge a little more than Epe. Okay. Take out the vise. And feel the check. No extra glue there. Don't feel anything sticking. Bend it backwards. And the wire pops. There we are. We're going to go ahead and uh, strip the wire. And this time, because it is going on a weapon, I'm going to take the uh, secondary layer of tape off. Because I don't need it and it gets in the way of the uh, assembly. Okay, there's that. Know that I'm not laying on the wire a long time though with the burning, it's actually going pretty quickly. Because you don't need to sit on it forever. And you will burn through the wire. Okay. Put my spaghetti wire on. Okay. And by now, the accelerant should evaporate off the tip or the top of the blade. I can, I can tape it up. So, tape it up. Remember the taping video we did earlier where it's 15 centimeters max from the base of the barrel? The armor should just be put on the wire side so as it wraps around it, protects the wire more. Push down nice and tight. go. Top of the barrel. And now this blade is ready for assembly. Next video. Happy armoring.